Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for all the support. I appreciate it all. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it fit. Fridays are always a general reading. So those could involve career, money, travel, moving, and of course, love. And Mondays are something different every week. So one week could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Another week might be a love reading or even a law of attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers, oracle cards. You have here, oh boy, I've got the seven of swords right out of the gate. The two of swords, the hierophant, the sun, the four of cups, the ace of cups, the moon. Very interesting when we have the moon and the sun together. I mean, they're close enough. The moon comes right before the sun in order, you definitely have information coming in, okay? There's something here. These three are basically tied together. Um, and I do feel like you're going to see something that you haven't seen before. Now, for some of you, you may have a new relationship that begins here. You have four major arcana. Arcana are mysteries, secrets, but they're major life events. And so you have a new beginning here with that Ace of Cups and the Fool energy and, of course, the sun. It's a beautiful reading. I do feel like if it's something you've already become aware of, it's just an it's just an acknowledgement of it. But for some of you, too, if you've been stuck in something with Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, and even Four of Cups, I do see you moving forward. You have Pisces, Leo, Taurus here. You have Air, Water, okay? So with the Seven of Swords... It feels more like somebody was dishonest than because so, sometimes this can be a card of impulsivity and just not thinking things through. But it does feel like not seeing something. And, you know, people teach us how to treat them, right? And so I do feel like there was something along the way where there were many indications. And I've told this story a couple of times because I think it's important. I mean, it's one of those things where our intuition, no matter how big or small, is important. The other day, we have a lot of. Um, basements in the area where I live, which if you don't have basements, you might not be familiar with this, but we have something called a sump pump that just keeps your basement dry when it has heavy rain. And I woke up during a heavy rainstorm and thought, you need to get that replaced because you need to get one every 10, about every 10 years, or if it breaks, your whole basement can flood. It's not a good thing. But it's that kind of stuff, those little day-to-day -day intuitions that when we don't acknowledge those or we talk ourselves out of them, we look back and go, damn it, I knew I should have done that. And so I feel like somebody here has had that moment where they're saying, damn it, I knew, <coughs> pardon me, it's also allergy season around here. I knew that there was a problem, but I just kept giving them too many chances. I feel like there was somebody here that had too many chances. So the two of swords, there may have been a good reason for that. The twos are about partnerships, and this one's definitely a caught in the middle kind of energy. Now, if it's something you're observing and it's between two other people, I definitely feel like there's this caught in the middle. Knowing this is not a good attachment, but having a hard time letting go of it. And so you also have the moon in this card as well, and that's always an indication of a new cycle. The high priestess has the moon as well, um, but that's not here. So I just bring that in because it's such a psychic energy and a card of intuition. But I also feel like too, in, when I look at this, you have three different times that the sun appears. So they're telling you there's going to be a new beginning with something. There's freedom from bondage from this, but the bottom sword represents fear the top sword represents anger, right? That top hand ready to, you know, co come out and battle if needed. And so I do feel like it's generating some uncomfortable emotions, whatever this is. Now, if it's a, a work-related, because it can be dishonesty anywhere, if it's been a work-related kind of thing, I do feel like you move on again to something so much better, but there's a high morality coming in here, which is going to be great for this. 
so I mentioned here, we're going to just put these in order because I like it that way. Um, and then I'll put them back where they belong. But, you know, it doesn't really matter in this style of reading. But this is extraordinary. This tells a story in and of itself. The fool represents your soul on this life school, this earth school journey. It's the hero's journey. And so with this, it really is by the time you get to the energy of the sun, that's a card of true joy, freedom, happiness. And so what I like about this, though, in particular with the Hierophant being here, is the Hierophant's unity. So somebody, if it's a relationship, you've got a real love story going on here. It's exciting, but there's commitment coming in. And so as we um, talk about these, actually it was like this, um, with the Hierophant being here, he holds up his hand and says, be still and know. We know that, right? And so with this Scorpio, they're telling you, you're being divinely guided towards something better, something more secure. Now, again, I keep feeling a person coming in who is, what, what you see is what you get. There's no hidden agenda here. So even if it's been a work thing or something was promised that wasn't delivered, I do feel like with this, there's the delivery. If you had to move on to something else, because I feel like you've had some opportunities that you may not have felt were quite right, but this is the right one. This is when the right opportunity comes along at the right time. And he also too has the keys to the universe here. So it is a card where you're gonna have some power. And even for some of you, you may get more authority in a job. In a relationship though, um, it, it's a card of a deep connection and there's great trust throughout the reading, trust and a new beginning. So the sun comes in and I actually think it was like this now that I moved these around. Anyway, let's talk about the moon first. So the moon has, a, there's a reveal here, okay? More is revealed in the energy of the moon. There's information that comes forward. And it may be the result of some digging on your part with this, um, the watchtowers in the back. It, it definitely can be a card of doing some internet research, doing some investigation. And if it's work-related too, if you got some kind of, I get like an email some kind of an opportunity for a bit of a side hustle, vetting that first, not just giving out your information because you never know when it's a fishing kind of thing. But I do get with this, somebody's going to get a new opportunity with money and love too. This, the moon mirrors the sun. So I mentioned that um, the, the moon comes before the sun. And so it's that dawn of a new day that comes in. It tells you in the darkest of nights, there's always a dawn of a new day. And so I do feel like you have something new coming in. You've got the Yods or Yods of the Tarot a couple of times here. You also have it with the Ace of Cups, that new beginning. So whatever it is that you've been through, there's definitely going to be a new beginning. And I do feel like in terms of a love relationship too, it might be another water sign showing up here, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio with this energy. Um, but I, get, I feel like they're going to be very open. There's, there's no reluctance here. Whatever it is, it's like you move through any kind of discomfort and you go into something new without bringing that heaviness with you. Well, with the four of cups here, fours are the four legs of a table. So it's definitely bringing in more stability to your life. And you might be kind of um, a tough one to crack. Those of you that it's love relationships or even a job too, where you've seen something here that came to pass and it made you maybe a bit more guarded not, you know, not as just easy to just, let's just jump full steam into this. I just feel like you're going to whatever it is, do your research and the offers will have to be good. I also feel like too, for some of you, you're going to have some leverage. If there's a job that is, it's not competitive enough wage wise, I do feel like they're going to make an increase. Okay. Because there's just too many jobs here that are very much unskilled labor that are paying a lot right now. So especially with the Hierophant being here, that indicates that you have some skills that are worth being paid for. So I just feel like whatever it is that you end up accepting, it's not leveled down by any means. They'll level up to you or you just won't go into it. And so with the Ace of Cups here, Ace, as we know, are new beginnings and initiation. And the Cups are about love, but they're also about that really great life. So I feel like they're trying to tell you any new beginnings here lead you to more. It's like I see this glowing light where it really truly is that dawn of a new day where you have that fabulous energy. You feel amazing in this. There's an excitement about it. There's this energy of I want to understand more about this person. In a job too, I feel like there's going to be a real eagerness to learn. And part of it too is when you feel like you're being paid, 
correctly, right? You tend to give more. You feel like, you know what? I am being paid for this and, and I feel like it's being paid my worth. And so, yeah, I want to learn more. I want to expand my skills. I want to contribute to this whether it's an organization or just a business. But I also feel like, too, you get a lot of respect in this energy. There's a loving energy around you. So it just feels like everyone's in harmony and in flow. So the sun is synergy. Speaking about of being in harmony, the sun is everything. It is a new energy that is available to you that brings in this, it's like this phenomenal energy of success, of feeling like you're on top of the world, really. And so in a relationship to it, I do get that tingly sensation, like somebody who really moves you. If you're in a relationship too, you may find you get into a new cycle with that relationship, that existing relationship that feels connected. You know, there's like this regeneration or renewal. I hear renewal, they keep saying. I love it when they correct me, but it's good because then it helps me to express myself better. But some kind of a renewed commitment, a renewed feeling of love. And there's excitement with this. So it's like the kind of stuff that lights your life on fire. So with the full energy, the full zero, it's the field of pure potentiality. There's an excitement and enthusiasm here. And it's jumping right in. So those of you that have vetted things carefully... When you find the right thing, there won't be any resistance. There will be no hesitation. This is also very non-judgmental energy. So I feel like what will happen for you is when you, you know, as you do any research, once you get into know, the knowing, it will be easy to move forward. Where you'll know, I, I this is it. This is what I've been asking for. And so in a relationship too, though, I do feel like there's this wonderful sense of, you know, that return to love, that return to trust where you can really expand together. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Advice for Scorpio. It's funny, sometimes people ask about, am I removing cards from the Major Arcana? I lost one of these yesterday. They went flying, and I could tell immediately a card was missing. It's just kind of like, no, I would never. Meditation brings answers, okay? So quieting the mind and the energy of the Hierophant and asking. Ask for direction. Ask, and it will be given. There's a compromise here. So there may be something. I still feel like you're not going to lower your standards, but there may be something with that Seven of Swords kind of allowing the person to be who they are, accepting who they are. But you may find you remove yourself from their energy. You have romance coming in. That does not surprise me one bit in this within the next few months. And you also have a yes. Now, I want to say, too, the Hierophant's often connected with the numbers 3, 7, 12. So it could even be in terms of romance all the way up to December, you know, where it really gets going by December. But good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.